Matt in town for the launch of the new kit, um, but for you, settling in process, how's it been so far? Yeah, it's been good. It's been um, very different. Sort of uh, obviously a lot of a uh, lot of new things to take in. Um, you know, learning learning what's going on at the club and new calls and all that sort of stuff. But boys have been great, coaching has been great, and I've, yeah, I've really enjoyed it. And getting out and meeting the fans early doors on an event like this, it must be good. Yeah, well, the weather's a lot better than it was <laughs> yesterday. So we were at the beach yesterday. And it was horrible, but um, no, it's good to come out and meet the guys. Obviously, you know, they've you know after last year's success and stuff, you know, the support's been brilliant and you know, good turnout today. I know it's midweek as well, you know, lunchtime, so a lot of people at work, but still a lot of people out to show their support. What's it like coming into the champions? Yeah, it's weird. I think it's probably a little bit more nervous than I, than I would have been uh, had it not had you not been champions. But um, yeah, it's um, it's good. You know, the environment's been really good, really positive. Looking on from next year, and you know, they're they're at a place where they know they've got lots of work on still, and you know, they're, they're the sort of team that want to kick on again and, and do the double and, and and kick on elsewhere in Europe. So it's it's a great environment to be involved in. I just you know, I hope I can add as much as possible. You've come across the Chiefs in the past with both Worcester mm -hmm. and and Gloucester, but now you are a Chief. Uh, what's that going to mean to you? And how excited are you by the challenge yeah no it's, it, you know it's it's a club that you know I've always admired for, for a number of years obviously since they've come up they've, they've not really looked back um, you know it's testament to sort of the coaches and the players here and you know it's, it's nice for me to be involved in that sort of setup and get back to sort of develop myself as a player and hopefully you know with that you know add to the team and that you know aims to win the premiership again this year there's no bones about that and, and hopefully uh, hopefully kick on in Europe as well and you come into one of probably the most competitive areas of the squad the back row yeah I think you say that in any squad though yeah but the, you know in particular you know here is yeah really really competitive back row but that's good because not only does it give you competition for places which means you know players improve a lot more or you know training's a lot higher quality but also you know as well as it being a competitive area, it's also an area full of injuries. So those boys are going to have opportunities to play, and there will be a rotation going through the squad. So hopefully we'll have a good, you know, pretty fresh, fresh back row out on the pitch. You know, and you know they'll be out there to do a good job. And they're playing exciting brand of rugby, the Chiefs. Yeah, no, looking forward to it. looking forward to playing and chucking the ball around a little bit, and um, yeah, scoring some tries. You know, hopefully, obviously, Tank scores all the tries. Just leave him to do that. But. Um, yeah, no, it's good. Um, like I said, enjoyed watching them play, and now just trying to trying to you know nail the calls myself and learn the systems. But it's going pretty well so far. Pre-seasons are necessary evil. You've got to get through it, but uh, then the, the business starts. And first up, Gloucester away. I know you could write <laughs> that, could you? Really? Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, it'd be good. Obviously, hopefully, you have a good pre-season, get that under my belt first. That's first and foremost. It's, it's always tough coming into a new new place, especially after they've won the. Uh, won the league as well so you know make sure I give my best account you know as I can of myself through pre-season and then you know looking forward to that Gloucester game and you know hopefully be involved in some aspect of that and it would be nice to get a win away there and start the season well. You've been in England squads in the past will you see this as a stepping stone you've seen boys at the Chiefs progress you know the likes of Nolsey on yeah. even le bigger levels. Yeah it's been, you know that's that's really helped me in the past obviously not just develop as a player but it's been quite nice to to meet I know a lot of the guys coming into the squad already have been on tours and you know I've played with um, Slady since I was sort of Dickers since I was sort of 16, 17 so you know, I know a lot of the lads pretty well which has been helpful and you know hopefully I can get back to develop myself as a player you know the coaches alluded to it before I signed you know that's what they want to do is develop the players and you know, hopefully I can do that and you know, potentially push back for international honours. You're wearing the black but uh, give us the thoughts on the new kits. I like the black, black's nice, looks smart. I like the pink, I've got nothing wrong with the pink, I think it looks nice, you know, the tribal bits of the front, the blue shorts make it. If it was all pink I think it would be a bit too much but the, uh, you know, the blue shorts make it so I think you know, generally it's been pretty good.